Hello and welcome back to the second tutorial on my channel. I'm sorry I haven't done another one before now, but between real life work, writing my own music and the holidays, I haven't had much time. Not to worry, this is a quick video to help you with something I find very useful, with both computer performance, if you have a limited system, and also separation of effects into individually assigned ones that you can add to an event rather than the whole track. So we're going to start off here with bouncing a MIDI track to an audio track which will reduce the strain on your PC and allow us to add individual FX. Here I have a rather simple piece of piano music which I recorded and for the sake of argument we're going to pretend that I'm having PC issues and my CPU is maxing out, all I get is noise. There are a few ways of fixing this depending on what you want to compromise, i.e. sound quality as you could adjust song settings themselves or if you have a track that is complete and you know you no longer need the full instrument, you can remove the MIDI track and instrument and work with just your audio event. So this is a piece of music that I've written, pretty simple. As you can hear it's a pretty simple phrase which just repeats twice for the purpose of this exercise. To first explain the issue with adding effects, if I wanted to add a delay to this for example, I usually grab the effect and would drag it over to the track like this. However, as you can see, I now have the whole track affected by the delay I've added and in this example, I'd only like to add delay to the second time through. So if I play this now, it will be the entire, the entire track. OK, so let's remove that delay from the track and the first thing we're going to do is bounce this to an audio track. Once we've done that, Studio One will mute the original event, create a new audio track and render our piece to that track as you can see here shortly. So first things first, let's get rid of that delay we just added. There we go and we select the entire event, right click it and do bounce to new track. OK, so I want to split this into two pieces. There's a nice shortcut to access your tools here on the menu bar, which you would normally use by clicking up here. It's to click the middle mouse on the editor, pretty much anywhere, and select the one you want. In this case, the split tool. We'll split the piece here, and then middle click again, and use our select tool again. So now we have two pieces, we can add the delay to the one we want. You may need to open the info window for the tracks, which you can see here on the top left. Click that and you then have access to the event FX panel down here. Select the event you would like to add the effect to, in this case the second piece here, and then click this enable button on the event panel. This opens a section very similar to what you may have used before on the channels in your mixer, giving us access to the inserts area. Simply click the plus button and choose the effect you'd like to add to this event only. We've selected our delay as before. Make one quick change to the feedback, just to make it sound a little bit nicer. And then I'll play this again from start to finish. So, as you can hear, we got our second run through with the delay effect added. At this point you could simply delete your original piano track and instrument which would free up the resources in your song and on your PC. If you do this though, you should make sure you're finished with it and it will remain unchanged. You can undo this while in session though of course. So let's quickly right click the track, remove track and instrument and in this case all we then have is the audio track that we bounced earlier. Again, you can undo remove if you need to make some changes to it. Lastly, there is one more thing you could do to help your PC even more. 
there is a button on the FX panel called Render. If you imagine you've added lots of effects to events throughout your song, these are all being processed in real time, which is more work for your PC to do. You can release these resources even further by rendering the effect so it's fixed and Studio One now only has to play back the audio alone. Let's click the button to render this delay effect and as you can see, the delay is gone and everything now sits in audio. The render button has changed to restore. So again, if you need it back to tweak it, you can always restore the effect like this and there it is back again and you can make any adjustments you'd like. I really hope you liked the video and it was useful for your own workflow. I'd love to have you as a subscriber if you aren't already. Please like, comment and share. Let me know anything you'd like to see in the future. Everything helps me improve. Thank you very much again and have a fantastic rest of your day.